Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing an open box from Erin Condren. I actually placed this order almost a month ago. Like, and I know you guys are probably like, why did it take so long to get an order? Well, let me tell you, one of the items, unfortunately, was a little more difficult to find. Um, it seems as though some of the inserts were out of stock when I placed the order, so they had to print a ton of inserts. Anyway, I already talked to customer service about it. It was totally fine. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys uh, another planner that y'all might be interested in for the new planning season, which is coming up a very very, very soon if you start planning in July. You can also clearly start using this in January if you are just a regular calendar person. First of all, I want to say thank you to Tori over at Erin Condren for thinking of me and sending this my way. Um, she did allow me to pick out what is in the box, so let's uh, do this without any further ado. So I tried to cover up my address but the sticky notes that I'm using are not very sticky so let's cut this off camera. <laughs> okay I just took everything out and placed it right here so we can all take a look at two together. All right so here is all the goodies. Okay let me again get things out of the way. So oh so let me take this stuff out of the plastic because it's just going to crinkle and be really annoying for the sound. All right, so here is all of the goodies I got. So I got myself another binder, y'all. <laughs> but let's go into like what's in the little pack um, with every binder purchase and uh, basically every life planner purchase as well. You get a uh, free ruler. This snaps in really well to the coil bound as well as um, the rings, which I'll show you in a moment. You get a perpetual calendar. These are really great for like birthdays, anniversaries, things like that, or if you just want to track certain things. And then there's this little pack that comes from Erin Condren. And let's pull this sucker out. And so you get a little like label thing. You also get some compliment cards. This one says, you lift me up. I'm so proud of you. And your potential is endless all in the waves pattern, which I'm currently obsessing with. We're gonna cover this up. So you get also these here we go um this little card on this side has two little coupons and it says shop away please enjoy 20 percent off your next purchase which is amazing there's two of them so there's like one for you and one for a friend and it's a unique coupon code so i'm not going to show that because you know i like coupons too um you also get two of these beautiful labels that are like more for gift wrapping so this one says just a little something from and then you can put your name or your family or whatever and this one says enjoy to from so loving that and then uh, this is just a little card that just says like what comes with it so yeah it's kind of cute and then and then and then you guys oh my gosh I'm so excited I really wanted to share so I'm gonna put up in the card wherever it goes my current planner move-in for 2020 slash 2021 I just filmed it I just uploaded it I think it was last week and that is the planner I'm gonna be using however the binder that I have is the I think it's called champagne it's like a light tan color and I saw this one and I was like oh damn this is a little busy for me but I think it's so freaking beautiful and I feel like it would look really beautiful like on my shelf you know you know what I'm saying um so yeah it's just gorgeous so actually while I'm doing this let me go grab my actual binder that I'm gonna be using for this year all right so here is what I'm gonna be currently using this is in the champagne color so this is called the champagne life planner binder um, this one's $55 and this is called book cloth wrapped life planner but to me it feels like it's like almost coated it does feel like the outside of a book it really does it is textured if you can hear that 
um, where this one is smooth. Like this one's smooth to the touch. We'll reference this a little bit later. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. And then this one is called the Layers Colorful Life Planner Binder. Also retails for $55. And the specifications are a paper wrapped life planner. Um, so it's like a paper, but it's very, very thick. I feel like it's very thick and sturdy. I'm not sure how it would like hold up if you want to take it with you every day. But again, it is beautiful and I love it. And ooh, we got the teal on the inside. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Okay, get rid of this. Put that over there. Oh, sorry, Doyle. I, like, hit my dog. Great. Um, so, yeah, and then it has these beautiful rings, which I am loving. And on the inside, I decided I wanted to get the neutral layers in the hourly layout. I want to show you guys this um, just because I thought it would be kind of interesting to look at because... I don't know, I like don't have enough space on my desk here. Hang on a second. Since like working at home and everything, I have these like big ass monitors which are going to be in the way kind of. Like this is this is a this is a monitor, so just just FYI it's a monitor over there, guys. And then Okay, so let's kinda go through this. Cause I kinda wanted to share like any differences or whatever so um, it's gonna be kind of tight so just like fyi okay yeah and i wish i could get this up higher but i cannot Ugh. anyway so here are the main differences i'm not gonna put this in here just yet i'm gonna do that off camera it doesn't take very long guys but on the inside of the binders it, there's a little bit of a difference with the um design so there's like a mid-sensory circle on the inside which kind of makes sense because like the layers is such a pattern that it's kind of makes sense for this to just be like plain because the outside of this one is plain and then yeah so you have your life planner and you've got the beautiful vellum page, which is one of my favorite things. And then same thing, the life planner hourly layout. And the font is slightly different in the colorful versus the neutral. So um, it says this is my life and more of a script. And then this one, it has it more in like a block letter. So let's just go page by page. See again, the script is just slightly different. The message is still the same. And then again, like I said, I've already like messed with this one. So um, this is all like moved in for me. So again, the script is just slightly different, clearly. Um, let's see here. This is a little bit different. Oh, this is like very different. So with this one, well, I can't remember what was up above here now. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, but it has the same 12 boxes. And then we get into July, which um, is the same quote, but again, different script. So just depending, Com to, to be completely honest, I am, I'm a colorful flan, flan? I'm a colorful fan for the inside of my planner, but I love this script so much better. Um, I don't know, it's just a personal preference. So as for July, it's just more simplistic. Um, but again, I love this like script. I think it's so pretty. And then going into the next page, we've got some more information. So we've got like your plan page, which I'm going to be using for my monthly budget, which I haven't set up yet, but it's, it's going to be there. I'm going to be doing budgets again, guys. I know, I know crazy, right? Um, and then this page is the same, except for it has a little bit of design difference, like right, right here. This has just like a little plain thing. And then the font is slightly different. And then um, it's just more neutral. It doesn't have this blue in here. It's kind of, this one's more of like a little bit of a like purple haze kind of a thing. And then when you get into this, again, a little bit different with the um, script and then also with your uh, days. So up above here, we've got this colorful area. It is now white up here, which I know lots of people love because it just makes it a little bit more versatile. And then also down here, you don't have the color. So the color is right down there. And to be honest, now seeing this, I might swap out these pages. Um, like my daily pages, maybe? 
haven't fully decided. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with all these inserts, but I just I just think they're gorgeous. Um, but anyway, so yeah, and then, you know, moving on to the next week, you got this up here. So again, it's all, it's all exactly the same at the very end of the month. Hold on, let me do this one as well. It is the same except for um, this has like the little bit of waves pattern up here, but um, this one is totally, totally plain. So it's kind of, you know, whatever you want to do. And then going into the next month, again, same. The other one was like a little bit purple. This one to me is a little bit more like like a dusty robin's egg blue um, is this color theme. But man, I just... The simplicity of this is so incredibly nice, um, but again, I love color in my planner. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with these inserts. I think they're so freaking cute, and um, I think I might do like a little hybrid situation. I'm not really sure yet. So, anyways, um, but yeah, but getting all the way to the back. So let's do, let's show you what's in the back here. Oh, you know what? I don't have these pages in here um, because I only put 12 months in this planner. Um, did I put this one in? Oh, no, what? I did. I did put this in. I'm sorry. Oof. Here we go. Um, I did put this one in. So this is the contacts tab. So like on this side, it says contacts and then 2022. So I already put in like my holiday or not holidays. I'm sorry, but like my paydays, I already put those in. Oh, and then look at these neutral stickers. Oh, it's so exciting. To be honest, I do not keep stickers inside of my planner. I don't use them if I see if I have them back there. Um, this is something that really bothers me. I know that they're doing it across the board, so it's not a flaw. But um, this, like, to have these punched like this and not in this way you know where you can see all the you know like the two the two and the four pole I would really love it if it was like that because it would it would make it easier to flip these in and out um, because clearly these holes are a lot smaller than those if you're somebody that wants to keep the stickers in the back of your planner so anyway again like I said I am not that person I am just you know stating the obvious so yeah but i love these those to do stickers are some of my favorites i love these happy birthday scripts so pretty oh gosh i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to put these in my little erin condren sticker area and then also there is the coordinating little pocket in the back um and then now it has the big pocket in the back too which is totally my jam um but to be honest when i'm setting this up i typically don't keep this in there because whatever i put in the back of my planner just goes there to die i don't know about you guys but it does so i usually end up putting that in a d stash and um gifting that stuff to some of my local minnesota people that love planners just as much as i do so let me get this bad boy out of the way here all right so that is a look at the layers colorful life planner binder with the layers neutral hourly layout inserts and um also i got one of these and i got this in my uh like launch day haul as well which i'll link above for you guys if you're interested this is a free gift with purchase this is the erin condren um i think it's just like the transparent clutch what was that what it's called oh layers of organi organization clutch um these are really nice. I know a lot of people have been talking about, you know, what they're going to use this for. If it's going to be planning items or whatever. To be honest, um, I actually have a couple of these so far. So I am going to keep this. But what I'm going to do is um, put it in my little travel area. I have a big bin in my office closet that's dedicated just to travel things. Um, and I have a bunch of travel cases. So I think this would be really nice for either on the plane or to put in a suitcase or something like that whenever we are able to travel again so um yeah but i just really like this it's super neutral the design is really subtle i love gold so that's like up my alley and then um you know i love this color too it's not super bold i feel like it's really really nice so 
um, yeah, but that's a that's another little thing you get as of right now. But uh, who knows? I don't I don't know if this is like with every single life planner purchase or um, if it's just like while supplies last. So anyway, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what you are gonna be using for your planner for this upcoming year. Um, also, when are you starting to use your planner? I am chomping at the bit to start using mine in July, but. Um, yeah, just tell me what you're planning on using and when you're planning on using it. If it's an Erin Condren, if it's a totally different planner, if it's a notebook, if it's your phone, it doesn't matter. I love to know how all the other people out there plan their world. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and I will be back with more fun content very, very soon for you guys. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.